Okay, so I wanted to jump in before I open the boxes to let you know what the description is, where it came from. So this came from Thrift Vintage Fashion. I had never heard of this before. Um, I don't remember exactly how I even found it. I went on their webpage. They have a couple different options. You can buy wholesale bales, more curated boxes, mystery boxes. This one it was advertised as a 100 pound basic mix bale which would be vintage and retro mix. So they're saying it's a true mix of vintage, retro, and modern. All garment types are included here. T-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, sweaters, and a small percentage of pants. Mix sizes could be kids, could be women's, plus size men's. Um, and then it does say, you know, there could be issues with some holes, stains, cracked graphics, all of that. So going into this, I had the idea that I would do this just strictly on the fact that t-shirts are very easy to list. Um, everybody wears them, especially if they are, you know, a recognizable character on them or a band or something along those lines. Those sell pretty well. Um, anything that wasn't worth a lot of money, I probably could send to Play-Dohs and get my money back. Um, and then I'm also having a garage sale in a couple weeks. So I figured, you know, whatever I don't want to list, whatever Play-Dohs won't take, I will just throw in there for really cheap to kind of recoup some money. I might speed through some of the stuff that I'm showing you depending on quality. If it's like just a whole bunch of great stuff, then I'll show you. But otherwise, I don't want to waste your time with it. So now let's get into that. So here are the two boxes. I thought they were going to have it in just one box. So... Um, I'm not sure if it's just going to be bagged or in an actual bale in both of them. Griffin is doing our sniffing test here. So now let's get to the fun part and we will open it. Okay, so the lighting isn't great in here, but we will just make do with what we have. So I did open the box. It is not in a wrapped bale, which is probably better because that's just a pain to get undone get this here it says we greatly appreciate your business 15% off your next order I'm sure you can't use it on everything just because I tried using a couple different promo codes and none of them let me use it for this before I start going through everything um I'm hoping that these are all like graphic tees I don't want to get like I don't know just plain t-shirts from Walmart or something along those lines I did read the description to you before this, so you'll kind of know what's supposed to be in here. In theory, if there are just a couple really good true vintage like band tees, movie tees, or something along those lines, that could potentially pay for uh, both boxes. I just don't know how likely that is to happen, so we will see. The first one here is just on a Gildan tag, and it's a motorcycle shirt. It's not branded Harley or anything like that. These do okay. Um, a lot of this kind of stuff too, Play-Dohs will take. So I'm hoping that kind of some of the lower tiered ones, I'll probably just send them all there. This is on uh, the Cotton Exchange tag. It just says American. This one is single stitched on the sleeve and the bottom. If you don't know what that means, Right here, the stitching, there's only one line where this one that I just showed you earlier has the two lines. That is normally an easy way to tell if a shirt is vintage. You can normally just kind of tell from feeling it. They're normally heavier weight because they were, you know, a better quality shirt. But there are modern day brands that are currently making single stitch t-shirts. So just keep that in mind when you're looking. The Zoo York hoodie. This reminds me back of like my high school days. Size large. It's in okay condition. It's on a Gildan tag. Uh, this looks to be just like some sort of shirt from a kid's high school or something. So that will probably just be rummage sale. This is just going to get donated. It's absolutely disgusting. It's just this really cheap feeling hockey jersey, so that's going to go. This is on a Teamwork Athletic Apparel. 
and it looks to be just a generic baseball jersey tccne i don't know what that means i know that that's not like a mlb team i don't believe so that one we'll just look into the hanes tag size extra large it says brunel wrestling on the back I'm having slight PTSD from my swimsuit veil because none of this is screaming anything great to me right now. This is on a bike tag. It's just a football jersey. I know that this is um, cowboy colors, but I don't believe that that's, I think this is just someone's from like high school. On a Gildan tag, this one says Saint Marant. On a Gildan tag, just a crew neck. These type of crew necks do okay, um, but this one's pretty pilly. This is on a Haynes tag. This is also something I'm hoping not to get. Like all these, uh, I'm assuming this is some sort of like construction or I don't know, like plant of some sort, and it's just a safety award tee. Take this, Lacoste. I'm just hoping that there aren't any holes or stains or anything, which there's a huge hole in the back, so that is useless to me. Another Patagonia, men's large. An old army shirt. This one will do okay, I think. Size large, crew neck. It says Maine on the front. Some pilling, but it's not as bad, nearly as bad as some of the others. This one's pretty dirty. Tag is cut out, East Hanover, Falcons. This is a Champion Extra Large newer that's screen printed on there. Just like a pullover, windbreaker type jacket. This is new with tags Wembley Stadium London 2016. Um, I wish it wasn't uh, dated, but we'll see on that. I don't know this brand. To me, it seems like maybe something that would be at like Zoomies, Broken Promises. A little tie dye shirt with. 
graphic on the sleeves. This kind of stuff I don't mind listing because it normally does fairly well. This tag is completely worn. It says slow ride. There's some like bleach stains on the back of this. Another windbreaker from, I don't even know, Cato Paxi? Never heard of that brand. Hoping it's something good. This is an older Guinness shirt. See, like, this is what I was kind of anticipating and hoping to get, with stuff that was branded with things that people know and is recognizable, but... Oh, we'll see. This one does not feel good at all. This is somebody's old high school football jersey. have one of these listed in my store and in my Poshmark closet. Not this exact one, but I like these shirts. Kitty's first sacrificial offering. Here's just like a printed humor Santa crew neck. Saddlebread? Is that how you say that? What's on the back here? Oh, fun. A ghost face shirt. I wish this was my size. What does this one say? I think. Yeah. This one should do good. I wish I had just had a box full of horror shirts. That would be fine with me. Death Wish. Don't know this brand. It's like in kind of reggae colors. after the first box. I'm definitely feeling underwhelmed, but I think I just kind of feel that way as I'm going through the stuff just because, you know, I'm seeing so many things that I forget what's in here. So now I will put this back in this box and then grab the other one and show you that. Okay, this box is starting out better. This is newer, but Tommy Hilfiger, this little like embossed crew neck, orange kiss says hustler hustle on the sleeve little windbreaker just a softball windbreaker not exactly sure what that's from So shine down shirt tour of 2015 through 2016. Paris Sport Club crew neck. Older Vans zip up hoodie. It's kind of cool. It's pretty cracked on the bottom though. 
modern day shirt, boys in the hood, good size though, 2X. Press box, University of Oklahoma. Another Tony Hill figure. This is on the Champion Reverse Weave size medium. With this little graphic on the front. Great land plaid button up. If these are in good condition, these I'll probably just send to Play Doh's. They're always taking that. This is not in good condition. Fieldmaster, super pilly. This has got some fringe on it. stuff too I was anticipating trying to do a whatnot auction or something I don't know I mean none of this is in great condition so we'll see no tag on this one but it appears to be a thrasher skateboarding tee just a 4x Ali boxing t-shirt this looks like some sort of promo tee for like a haunted cornfield type of deal. A cabinet makers tee that's supposed to be like um, Jack Daniels. Too bad this has her name on it. The back's kind of cool. Bayside Heavyweight. Here's the back. Fire and Rescue, City of Jasper. I don't know what this is. Wednesday 13? Is this a band or something? I'm sure. But the graphic's kind of cool on it. It's a patriotic shirt. <laughs> T 
Tupac and Marilyn Monroe. Interesting. Keystone, Colorado tea. This one is New of Tags. It's a Vietnam veteran tea. Some sort of promotional tea for that. <laughs> Too bad this had this guy's name on it. The back's pretty cool on there. But I feel like people might still buy this. I don't know. When I was in high school, that was like our the coolest thing to do was to go to Bethesda and find shirts like this that you know, we're old and had people's name on it and we'd wear it. So I don't know. We'll see. Another, I don't know. I was going to say baseball, but it doesn't have sleeves. Softball, maybe? Just a generic football jersey. Old jersey. Another shirt, I don't know what this is, King Glizzard, W Band, another modern day Biggie shirt, Toledo Swimming Polo, <laughs> nearing the end. America shirt. I'm assuming that's somebody's last name on the back of that one. Another sports type of thing. This could be good. This is an Echo 5XB. It's dirty on the back, but it might come out. So that maybe would be okay. Richmond Bulldogs. This is pretty dirty. Okay, last, last item here. Bedford Bulldogs. I don't want to be a downer about it right now just because I feel like I was with the whole swimsuit thing and that ended up being okay. I mean it wasn't great. We'll have to see. I'm gonna now kind of just count everything, see where I'm at of what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of, so I can find kind of an average cost of goods. And once we get to that, I think well, I will have looked over everything and then I can give you my final thoughts on what I think about this and if I would get it again. So it has been a couple days since I went through the bale. I wanted some time to be able to like really look everything over, put it through the wash and just kind of see what I was really working with. So what I came up with is there was 138 pieces total. And I paid $275. Shipping was free. There was no tax, so just a flat $275. Um, after looking over everything, I'm going to attempt to sell 75 items. I don't know if that's gonna happen because I've been listing. I have probably half of what half of it um, put in drafts already, and a lot of it is just really stained. Um, I've tried treating it. And washing it but I just really don't want to put a lot of time into this because there's not going to be a huge return for me. Um, 63 items were either too damaged, they just had zero resale value and I kind of put some of it to go to Goodwill and then some of it's going in my rummage sale in a 50 cent bin so we'll see maybe I can recoup some money I'm guessing like $10 maybe from the rummage sale on that. 
My average cost of goods was $367, which I think is a little high for what they gave me. I probably would not have paid $367 for um, any individual piece, I don't think, in there. I was just kind of anticipating something a little bit different, I think, than what I got. I did take some time quick to look at their website, and it appears that um, you can kind of... Let me just see here. They have different 100-pound bale options. You can do 50-50 custom bales where you'd get like half of it is animal prints and half of it's Disney. They have a 100-pound biker t-shirt lot, um, branded long sleeves, branded t-shirts, college and university, um, NBA, NFL, rock and rock and music modern. Uh, women's Harley, and then some more, um, like, professional football, professional sports. So I probably should have looked into that a little bit more because now I'm understanding why they gave me what they gave me because it doesn't fit into any of these categories and it was just generic um, vintage shirts. It did say that some of the shirts would be modern in mine, so I was anticipating, like, I would have been fine with some stuff that you get from like Walmart or Kohl's that have just graphics on it. I can resell that semi-easily and if it was in decent decent condition I could have done whatnot with that, you know, started them for two dollars or something along those lines. But what I got was just really not going to be easy for me to resell so this might be a definite dud. I just wanted to let you know some of the pricing. So on the modern, the rock and music modern t-shirt veil, you get 100 pounds. They said that averages to about 200 t-shirts, okay? So to get that veil, remember I paid 275, that one is $1,400. So that's averaging $7 a t-shirt. I looked at some of the, you know, examples that they have. A lot of it is from Walmart and a lot of that you can get at Walmart for, you know, eight, nine dollars new. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't want to say trust this company, but to me, from what I am seeing so far of people that are selling these bales, unless you're willing to pay quite a bit, and even with this, I don't even know if that would be worth it to pay the $1,400 for those shirts. To me, right now, the companies that I have chosen for these bales, it seems like it is just inventory that is moving from place to place to place that people really aren't interested in. You get stuck with it and then they sell it to you, you know, at a lower cost. So going forward, I don't know that I'm going to do this anymore, the bales. I just really like the idea that it's so much coming to you. Um, sometimes in my area, thrifting is not great and I want to continue listing every day and have, you know, 10 to 15 new items going up every day. And if I can't find it, you know, then I'm stuck. So that's why I like the idea of something coming straight to my house, but I'm definitely not going to be spending money on junk anymore because <laughs> it's just, um, you know, it's compiling in my house. I don't want to deal with it. And essentially, you know, some of these I'm probably just going to break even on. This uh, box, I am going to actually be keeping up with it to let you know when I do finally break even or if I do. If you happen to have um, some sort of supplier that you go through and you get decent um, inventory and you would like to share that information with me, I would totally love to hear it. Like I said, I like the idea of a lot of inventory coming to me at one time but it needs to be something that is substantial. I'm not against paying up as long as I know what I'm getting is going to be quality. So I think from now on, I will probably just stick with quick lots. That seems to be my best return um, for the money that I'm spending. I think that's two, it might be 275, 245. I'm not exactly sure. And you get uh, 30 items, I think. And most of them are new with tags. They're good brands. So I'm definitely going to stick with that probably thread up just because I do and I'll keep looking for other options but so far I just I don't know I don't know that it's something I want to keep gambling with my money if you enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a like it really helps out the channel and I really appreciate it I will see you in the next one bye